Hi, folks. Glad to have you with us here. You're watching the East quarterfinals of the NBA Cup. We're excited to bring it to you. This is Brian Anderson, joined by Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson, Ali LaForce, and in terms of the NBA Cup tournament, this Eastern quarterfinals game is a must-win for these two group winners. Lose and you're out of the running for the NBA Cup. Yeah, make no mistake. This might count as a regular season game statistically, but there's nothing regular about it. These teams are battling for their shot at that NBA Cup. A look at Cleveland's opening lineup. At the four and the five, the lengthy pair of Mobley and Allen. Nasumu is out there with Darius Garland. And it's Tyson in at the three, small forward. Allen with a screen on MP. Mobley passes to Allen. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. For a big, Allen is so fluid, setting a pick and then gracefully rolling into position. Pass to Buzelis. MP with it. Allen defending. Outside Morant. Tatum passes to MP. Here's Buzelis. Six to shoot. Back to MP. The kick to Tatum. The three is up. Cash. It's MP picking up the assist. You can't give up these corner three balls to Tatum. That is a recipe for disaster. Allen, left side. Outside Garland. Back to Allen. Out to the right wing. Garland looking around. Offline from the top of the key. Good shot, gone bad. Gotta finish there. All right, let's check in with Ali LaForce. Well, Billy Donovan had a few moments to share with you. And I wanted to know, how do you slow a guy down like Jarrett Allen? Coach said we have to hassle him as much as possible on both ends of the floor. We really want to limit him, not just his points, but more importantly, his rebounds. So keeping Allen off the glass is a primary focus. All right, appreciate it, Allie. The kick to Tatum. This one for three. The rebound by Garland. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. And Grant, when you look at Darius Garland, he has a very polished offensive game. Absolutely. He's great at creating for himself, but also knows when to get others involved. He can score from anywhere, and he works incredibly hard on his craft. Outside for Moran. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Right now, they are coming along. Three or four to start this game. Cavaliers trail by three. Pass to Tyson. Here's the pick. Jacks up a three. And it's Chicago with a the board. They've been playing excellent team basketball. Nine wins in a row. You can feel the energy in the air around this team. They know they are on a roll, and they are committed to keeping it going as long as they can. Tatum from long range. The three from Mitchell. They get it again. On the wing, Mitchell. Second shot opportunity. And that won't fall for him. He's 0 for 2. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. Tough to watch those miss. I'm sure they'll convert the next chance. Pass to Allen. Allen with a screen on Mitchell. Desumu goes in to the wing, right side. Here's Tyson. No points yet. Garland for three. The rebound by Jason Tatum. And we're just over three and a half minutes into this first quarter. Knocks it down from distance. Wow. Some strong perimeter shooting here in the first quarter. Desumu with it. Coming in off 12 points in his last outing. Allen with a screen on Mitchell. Desumu, the pass to Mobley. Takes the three. Desumu can't hit. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Now here's Mitchell. He has a clear impact on this offense. Putting up over 19 a game. Three-pointer, Buzelis. And here's Moran outside. And again, it's Chicago with a three. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. And it's Garland with the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Nine-point game. They're coming off a win against the Nuggets. I found it was an interesting game. 
Anything they couldn't get from their starters, they got from their reserves. For a number of reasons, depth seems to become more important every year. Pass to MP. Perfect night so far, two for two. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. And the timeout called by Mike Budenholzer. He wants a few moments to regroup with his players. Victory eluded them last time in Chicago when they faced the Bulls. Just a tough road loss. You're going against players who are comfortable shooting in their own building. You have to find a way to disrupt their focus. While they weren't fighting through screens, their closeouts and rotations were late. You name it, and let's just say they didn't do it on defense. Williams has checked in for Chicago. Thibel, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. Garland finds Thibel. Looking to end the run. Here's Mobley. And the foul called on MP. That's his first foul of the game. First personal foul. First team foul. Allen, the pass to Thibel. And here's the sumo. Oh, it's stolen by Mitchell. Good instincts to read the path and get in a position to pick it off. And the details starting to trickle in. But for the whole story, let's go to Shams Charania, who's joining us remotely. Shams, what you got? Hey, Brian. The story right now is the Washington Wizards making some early season roster adjustments. They scooped up Lowry Markkinen, and he's going to be a significant perimeter threat for this team. His career has accelerated through his 20s, and so has that confidence in shooting from range and playing all over the floor. And combine that with his size and rebounding, it's easy to see how big of an asset he'll be for this new coaching staff. All right, Chomps, thank you. Much appreciated. Clock at four. Cleveland again missing. Bulls leading by 13. Mitchell, the pass to MP. Thibel against Tatum. Allen outside. The three ball. Carries it from three. Allen's got five points. Not known as a quick shooter, but Allen shows what he's got there. Well, the recent success of the Cavs has centered around their defense, RJ. Well, if you want a chance to contend, you're going to have to be able to defend. Their coach embodies that, and so does their personnel, specifically their front court. Desumu outside. Pass to Allen. There's the triple. It's hauled in by the Bulls. MP's got five rebounds in the game. Williams finds Moran. Williams with the screen. Let's it fly. Nice D from Garland. Cavaliers trail by 12. Now Thibel. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. And it's Allen who slams it home. Throw it up there and let the fro go get it. Allen, this man is a hype machine. For Chicago, they've got 8 out of 12 shots to fall. Outside Tatum. I see him, I see him. MP inside. Allen defending. MP shot is off. And you got to give credit to the D for never giving up on the play and doing just enough to bother him at the rim. Allen with a screen on Mitchell. The Sumu, the pass to Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. And Allen's agility is so impressive. Solid at finding ways to score off any screen and roll. MP left side. Outside for Moran. Drills it from deep. Nine points in the game. They've really built this lead on the back of their perimeter game. We'll see if they can keep this pace. Not sure they can win it by relying on just the three. Spins. Williams against Mobley. Back to Garland. Five on the clock. There's the three. The rebound by MP. MP's got six rebounds here tonight. This is not his quarter. He needs to give up some touches and recalibrate. Grant, you think it's too early in the season to try and forecast where teams are going to end up? You know, B.A., yes and no. I think we have a handful of teams whose fates might already be determined, but we always have a couple of surprise teams that come out of nowhere. That's what makes the season so much fun to watch. First one falls for him. For Chicago, Yusuf Nurk.
substitution on the court. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. Who's hell is out there with Williams? Then it's Donovan Mitchell, then it's MP, and it's White in at the point. That's the five out there for the Bulls. Smart decision right there by MP, making the D pay for leaving his teammate uncovered. Cavaliers trail by 16. Picked by Carter. Pulled the shot a little left. The bounce goes his way, though. Carter's got his first points in this one. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, MP in the last matchup against the Lakers was a man on a mission. He contributed 62 points, and they can count on him to protect the rim. He was an enforcer in that one, and he had a memorable game. These coaches and fans are still buzzing about it. Just incredible. What's he got for an encore, B.A.? Yeah, he was unstoppable during certain stretches. It'd be great to see him top that performance tonight. Well, his team needs him to contribute. When he's on his A game, he just makes play after play. Expect them to go to him early and often. Don't want to let that hot hand go to waste. Tatum, he's checked in for Chicago. And a switch here also for Cleveland. Garland's checked in. Pass to Buzelis. MP is doubled. The kick out to White. The three. And the rebound goes to Cleveland. Carter's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Tyson. Taking a look at his numbers. Averaging about 11 a game. Mobley on a screen. Elbow shot. The shot by Tyson. No good. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice. Oh! MP, that was nasty. Once again, an explosive highlight on the AT&T 5G slam can. And so it's Garland who brings up the ball for Cleveland. They trail by 14. Pass to Thibel. Back to Garland. Now Thibel. Checked by Mitchell. Here's Tyson. Back to Mobley. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Tatum. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. And after connecting twice from deep in the first quarter, he hasn't been able to drain another here in the second. Pass to Buzelis. Let's it go from deep. Good. And the assist goes to MP. MP's got his fifth assist in this one. Cavaliers trail by 17. Garland, the pass to Mobley. Back to Garland. Shoots over White. And once again, off the mark by Cleveland. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. And there's just one foul now away from the penalty. Chicago making a switch here. Morant's checked in. Olenek checked in for Cleveland. The Sumu comes in for Thibel. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Outside Tatum, clock at six. Here's MP, the rebound by Carter. Carter's got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Tyson, pass to Garland, from deep. Tatum pulls it in. Tatum's got his fourth rebound in this one. They're still looking for his first bucket. You can't put all their struggles on him tonight, but he's been brutal. From deep. The rebound goes to Cleveland. You look at his college days and his rookie year, Tatum has always been on a winning team, Richard. B.A., I think it starts with his approach. There's always been an air of professionalism when it comes to Tatum. He's just a young player that is focused only on winning. And the shot is good by Garland. Now that's how you use your imagination. Garland can get his shot off from just about any angle. Outside White. Pass to MP. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. 
and a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for Chicago. They've really been dialed in from deep. This is a team that has a ton of confidence in their outside shooting ability. And also, the coaching staff has to love the hustle so far. Just playing with great energy, getting out and converting in transition. Here's Tyson. They swipe it. Tatum with it. He's picked up by Garland. I love it. In attack mode. Drawing foul calls this quarter and getting to the free throw line. Among the best in the NBA for a few years now, Jason Tatum. RJ, he's still quite young. How can he get even better? Oh, he can just get wiser and wiser. And that's what happens with young players. They get to a physical level where they can dominate, but where they get better is mentally. They get mentally stronger as they get into these experiences more. Oh, stolen by Moran. And here's the fast break. Here's Buzelis. And the finish on the break with the slam. The transition point started by Moran, not only with the steal, but he gets the break going with that first pass. The Cavs have gotten seven of 13 attempts to go here in the second. MP with the block. Tatum looking it over. MP inside, working on Olenek. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Yeah, this defense looks absolutely helpless trying to stop MP right now. He's having his way out there. Dasumu, the the pass to Garland. Olenek with a screen on Moran. Outside Olenek. And here's Garland. Coming off a 31-point game against Denver. The shot by Olenek, no good. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Pass to Tatum. MP with it. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. MP's got 17 points. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Timeout called the Cavaliers. Making a switch here. Mitchell's checked in. Allen, he's checked in for the Cavs. Mobley comes in for Olenek. Outside Garland. Allen with a screen on Moran. Garland for three. Nails it from beyond the arc. Garland's got his second bucket of the night. Whoa, when that range is being stretched, Garland showing he's up for that challenge. Tatum passes to MP. The kick to Tatum. Shoots. And he buries that one. Back rim and in. Ten points for him. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Allen outside. Here's Tyson. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Cleveland shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And he can't get the first one. He hits the second from the line. And they seem to have taken a more heads-on approach this quarter. <laughs> and is getting them to the free throw line. Outside Mitchell. He buries it from three. Mitchell's got nine points now in the quarter. Hitting that shot helps loosen the driving lanes a little, and we know Mitchell only needs a crack of daylight. Back to Tsumu. There's 47 seconds left in the second quarter. To the paint, Mobley. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Mobley's got 14 points for the game. He's shooting well, doing his best to keep this offense in gear, but he hasn't had a lot of support. Pass to Buzelis from behind the arc. Cash. It's MP picking up the assist. Buzelis has got his third basket of the night. Here's Tyson. Desumu outside. 16 seconds left in the second period. Just five to shoot. Now here's Garland from downtown. Chicago with a rebound. MP's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. 
Three-pointer, Buzelis. The shot comes out. And so it's Chicago, firmly in control with an impressive 28-point lead as the quarter ends. It hasn't taken them too many shots to get their points. They're winning with efficiency. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. Happy you could join us. First up, let's talk about the Players of the Week. And we thought it would be a good idea to give each other our own weekly awards here in studio. Kenny, why don't you start? Shaq, you've been in a great mood lately. So I'd like to present you with the Boban Marjanovic Big Friendly Giant Award. Thank you, Kenny. Ernie, for steering our ship, you have earned the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Captain Award. Wow, what an honor. And finally, Kenny, I'm bestowing on you the Bill Lambeer Top Instigator Award. What? Because nobody does it better. Come on, Ernie, I don't even know if that's an award. Oh, I, I, sure it is. Come on. Come on. Ah. Good job, All your Kenny. hard work. Yeah, we appreciate no. you. No. And let's talk now about the game we've been watching. What a terrific first half for the Bulls. It's one-sided on the scoreboard. Also in the rebounding column. They're hammering on these guys. This is how you blow a team out. Yep, secure those boards, good things happen. Check and typically prove it. And that's it for halftime. Thank you for joining us. We send you back to Brian Ed As we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. On the court right now for Cleveland. At the four and the five, the lengthy pair of Mobley and Allen. Darius Garland is out there with Ayo Desumu. And it's Tyson in at the small forward position. It's great whenever a big knows how to handle it. Allen sharing the wealth. And so Moran will bring it up for Chicago. After this game, they can look forward to L.A., where they'll match up against the Clippers. That'll be the first leg of just a two-game trip for them. Gotta applaud the defensive effort. It's not easy to stop them getting in the lane like that. Here's Desumu. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on MP. All right, I don't want to make you feel too old here, RJ. But you did get drafted back in 2001. What's the biggest change of the game, you think? Oh, I think without a doubt, the physicality and the three ball. Teams are not as physical, and they shoot a lot more threes. When I came in, they were barely shooting them. Now that's all that matters. Outside Tatum, down low. Here's MP, and the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Tatum's got his fourth assist with that last one. You want to know why they're winning? It's because of his play offensively. Desumu outside. MP with the block. He anticipated it and he trusted it. MP said, not in my house. And his struggles have been apparent. Unable to make an impact score in the ball. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Evan Mobley, second personal foul. First team foul. Free throw good, MP. You know, so far, I'm pretty impressed with MP's attitude. He doesn't seem like a young hothead. He knows he's got a lot of work to do on his game. All right, let's get a report from Allie. The Cavaliers have great size up front. They have Evan Mobley and Jared Allen, who said, we have each other's backs. That's the advantage of having two seven-footers. If you blow by the first one, there's a second one waiting for you. Brian, they'll make it tough. No doubt. Waves and waves of length inside. Thanks, Allie. Inside. Here's Allen. MP with the block. Out of halftime. Not the way you want to execute. Just one of five from the field. The Bulls have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. To the inside. The kick to Tatum. Here's the three. 
Mitchell, the pass to MP. Let's go with a three. And it's Mitchell, that time on the assist by MP. MP's got assist number eight now on the night. Allen outside. Pass to DeSumo. Allen with a screen on Mitchell. DeSumo, the pass to Allen. Shot clock at five. DeSumo can't hit. For Chicago, they've gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Outside Tatum. Launches a three. Mobley grabs the board. That is not a guy you want to allow open looks from range. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't get it to go. Allen with a screen on Mitchell. Dasumu, the pass to Mobley. Fires in the triple. Mobley's got 17. From the moment Mobley stepped into this league, Evan has been an impact player. Another huge night for him. The kick to Tatum. 4-3. And the rebound goes to Cleveland. Desumu outside. Pass to Garland. And he's going for the oop here. Morant with it. Now guarded by Mobley. And he drops in the layup off the glass. 12 points for him. Brushing off the contact look. The dude is strong. When he gets in there, it's easy. That's an easy bucket. Mobley deciding where to go with it. Garland for three. The rebound by MP. This is the definition of forcing it. He's trying to get himself going, but taking tough shots just won't do it. Outside Tatum. That won't go either for Tatum. I'd like to see him a bit more efficient. He has not been great this quarter. Pass to Tyson. Back to Garland. Desumu outside. Just five on the clock. Out to Mobley. Here's Tyson. Cleveland again missing. Great work by the defense. That's the intensity coaches want to see. And they double up MP. Tatum passes to Moran. MP against Allen. Tatum from long range. Cash. It's MP picking up the assist. MP's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. Desumu outside to the middle. Here's Allen. Oh, great D that time from MP. Chicago with the ball. They're on a 13-5 run. Morant with it. Nine points in the game. MP, the pass to Morant. The three from Mitchell. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. Yeah, he's in his bag from beyond the arc right now. You see his confidence. And of course, it helps space the floor, which gives this offense more room to operate. To the inside. Here's Mobley. Allen on the wing. And there's a three-second violation. And here in the first half of December, a look at the most recent power rankings. Hey, some intriguing stories. If you look at the Mavericks, they're building some momentum right now and aiming for a spot in the top five. When I look at Chicago, they're one of the top teams because they just play the game the right way. That's what's been clear early on. And Cleveland making a change here. Thibel's checked in. Outside, Williams. Here's MP. The rebound by Allen. Cleveland has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Well, you talk about an anchor for this defense. Richard Jared Allen is that. It's hard to find a big man who can move and eat up space like Allen. He's a great shot blocker that can also move his feet on the perimeter and guard in isolation. But a difference maker at the rim, that is where he's at his best. The sumo can't hit. Outside, Williams. Outside, Struess. Fires the three. Cash. It's MP picking up the assist. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Just 
to Sumu outside. Pass to Allen. Outside Thibel to stop the drought. Can't get it to drop. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. In a major drought, need to find some sort of momentum. Oh, man, he's feeling it this quarter. They should be looking to get him going every trip down the floor. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Pass to Mobley. Desumu outside. The Cavaliers again cannot hit. Uh, you know, some people could say he's struggling on offense this period. I like to think of more of drowning. Just can't seem to find his confidence. And they double up MP. And we're going to have a jump ball. That's a jump ball. Back to Struess. The three. They get it back. Here's MP. And MP throws it down. Yeah, excellent play by MP on the offensive glass. Working to keep the play alive. Desumu outside. From outside the arc. And it's MP with a rebound. MP's got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board work. Levine finds MP. And the rebound goes to Cleveland. Allen's got rebound number seven tonight. Here's MP. Uses the glass to finish the layup. MP's got 11 points in the quarter. All right, let's get your take, guys, on the hustle stats for the Bulls. They've been defending with excellent anticipation all game long. Just look at how many times they've managed to get their hands on the ball. Well, they've also been impressive, forcing a ton of mistakes. Not only that, but converting those mistakes into points on the other end. Pass to MP. Outside Struess. And here's White. Fires for three. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Desumu. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. And after he went scoreless in the first half, he's finally getting it going, looking much more comfortable. Cleveland shooting their seventh free throw attempt here. A minute 29 left in the third quarter. Pass to MP. Nails the baby hook. MP's got 30 points. He's putting them to the test this quarter, attacking every chance he gets. Carter, a screen on white, to the paint. And it's slammed in by Carter. They're using his frame to set a big pick. Carter effectively disrupts the defense. Down low. And with this pause in the action, here are the league leaders in block shots. MP, number one. He changes more shots than he blocks, and he blocks a ton of them. This will be his third trip to the free throw line. He had a really rough game at the line last time out. He struggled to get anything to drop. Such a talented player. MP can take over a game, but he also knows how important it is to keep his teammates engaged. Porter Jr., he's checked in for DeSumo. Pass to Carter. Six on the shot clock. The three is up. Hits the trifecta. Carter's got five points in the quarter. Yeah, if Carter Jr. can become more consistent from deep, it could really enhance his game as a scorer. MP inside. He's checked by Carter. Two points. That one goes. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Porter against White. Outside Porter. Inside. Here's Mobley. Outside Carter. Three-pointer. And the Cavaliers. Another three. This is that modern big man play. Tall guys who are comfortable draining shots from deep. MP getting it done for the Bulls. Dominating on the glass. What a quarter. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere.
Head coach Billy Donovan is mic'd up along the sidelines. Let's check it out. Exert yourself by being disciplined and focused on the right stuff. All right, good job. Oh, let's go. Right. Good words of praise from Billy Donovan. For Chicago, MP comes in for Yusuf Nurkic, and Victor Oladipo is subbed in for Struess. Jared Allen, he's checked in for Cleveland. Finney Smith comes in for Olenek. The Cavaliers have gone two for seven from the field here in the fourth. Not great. Levine and Williams are the two forwards. Victor Oladipo is out there with Kobe White, and it's MP in at the five, roaming the paint. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. They're in strong position coming down the stretch, and he is a big reason why. Cleveland has gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. Allen with a screen on Levine. Down low. And Allen gets it to go. Nice job by Allen inside, getting the ball in a good spot and finding a way to execute. Outside, Williams. To the paint. Here's MP. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. MP's got four points this quarter. It looked like he was playing against his little brother out there, the way he just went right over him with his height. Outside, Tybal. Back to Garland. Well, RJ, there have been so many great rivalries over the years. It's part of what makes the NBA special. It elevates the league when there are great teams always meeting on the biggest stage. It makes everyone pay attention when the best players are matched up against each other. Outside for Levine. Good, and the assist goes to MP. Their offense has been unstoppable, just firing on all cylinders. They've had great execution, and what stands out is that they're just taking what the defense gives them, not forcing anything. Pass to Tyson. Allen with a screen on Levine. From the arc. Offensive rebound. <laughs> Collecting plenty of second-chance points this half. That alone can keep a team in a game. Chicago has gotten three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. They'll pin that one on Jared Allen. This is NBA-level physicality, but MP has been prepared for it since his arrival. Herders checked in for Oladipo. Mobley, he's checked in for the Cavs. The Sumu comes in for Thibel. All right, time for an injury report. Let's check in with Allie LaForce now. She's got an injury update on Kelly Olenek. Hi guys, the head athletic trainer for the Cavaliers provided some information. He told me it's a dislocated finger that's causing a good deal of pain right now. It's a blow to a team that was hoping to turn up the second half of the season. This is a story that we'll be following very closely. Okay, thanks for the update. Good to get that information. Now we know how things are coming along, Grant. That's true. It's the uncertainty factor with injuries that can be so hard to handle. And you never want to speculate. So it's nice for us, and especially his teammates, to get some facts. Desumu on the wing. You know, for a while now, the NBA has done a last two minutes report on games. Richard, how do you think the players feel about this? I can tell you how I feel. I don't like the two-minute report. I think it does absolutely nothing to help the basketball game. Guys are frustrated. They need to move on. If they walk into the next game worried about the last two-minute report, are they really focused on that game? And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Garland, the pass to Mobley. Here's Desumu. And that one's good. A nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. Something seemed to click for him at halftime. He's looked a lot more focused, and the game is just easy for him now. Stolen by Mobley. Garland against White. Mobley outside. Pass to Tyson. To the middle. Here's Allen. And it's MP with a rebound. The Bulls have gone 8 of 12 so far here in the fourth. And MP throws it down. 
There you go, MP. Hammer it home, young fella. Here's Garland. A little mid-range shot is up. Doesn't go for him. There are nights where the shots just don't fall. Unfortunately, I know how that feels. Oh, and the dunk by MP. What a night for MP. He is in the zone. And look, that cylinder must be huge. Garland, the pass to Mobley. Now here's Garland. Desumu outside. Allen outside. Three-pointer. Five to shoot. And it's MP with a rebound. And so it's Levine with it. He brings it up for Chicago. MP. And it's good. Credit Levine with the assist. Levine's got his fourth assist in this one. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. From deep, Mobley. Chicago with a rebound. Levine's got four rebounds in the game. Outside White. To the inside. MP is doubled. Another one goes. Incredible. And that gives him 51. Making it look easy. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Bulls. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And they played well tonight, picking up win number 24 of the year. But they've got two more chances to get some revenge. The matchup doesn't favor them, but against a conference opponent, they're going to battle hard. And what a huge performance it was for MP. And he was doing everything out there on the floor tonight. Triple-double on the stat sheet, and that doesn't even tell the whole story. White, good. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. And let me tell you, as a team, you love to hit your stride right at the crucial moments. They put this game away in style. Pulls up. Mobley, no good. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth. Here's MP, and the lamp is good off the glass. MP's got 53 points. They got a big lift from their crowd tonight, giving them the energy they needed. You have to love their effort. This game wasn't handed to them. They took it. Now here's Desumu. The D's right on him. Pass to Tyson. Fires from deep. He can't get it to go. So it's the Bulls winning this one easily. Showing the rest of the Eastern Conference what kind of team they're going to be this year. Yeah, we'll see what they can do in the semifinals. The NBA Cup has a way of humbling teams. And that'll do it, folks. For Richard Jefferson, Grant Hill. Great win tonight, MP. Good job, MP. I see.